My name is Father Philip Smith. I'm going to do a homily on the readings of the 30th Sunday of the year, year B, of the Catholic cycle. As always, I do ask you to uh, read through those readings. I'm afraid the gremlins have got into my machine this afternoon. This is my third attempt at getting this homily through. I think it's probably my fault doing something silly. Perhaps a little bit less than usual. So, as always, I leave you to read the lovely readings uh, that we have today. The first one about uh, the prophet Jeremiah, after the disaster of the fall of Jerusalem and exile in Babylon, speaking during the exile of a future return. Shout with joy. The Lord has saved his people. See, I will bring them back to their home. And the, um, the psalm is a psalm of thanksgiving after they've returned home many years later after Jeremiah. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, our lips with songs. Then the letter to the Hebrews, the second reading. Jesus is likened to the high priest in the temple. Uh, one who can as a human being can sympathise with men and yet, of course, have connection with heaven. So be that bridge. And finally, uh, the lovely story in the Gospel of Bartimaeus, the blind beggar outside Jericho, shouting out to Jesus and refusing to be put down, saying, I want Jesus to help me. So there we are. I trust and hope that... Um, uh, that will be a good introduction to those readings. Now the readings today show us that faith in Jesus gives us a new vision of the world. Faith in Jesus changes our point of view. We see the spiritual life as well as the life of the material world. Now faith is needed in ordinary life to help us grow in confidence a child, for example, makes an act of faith in a parent, encourage him, that child, to, read a, to ride a bicycle. The parent says, pedal ahead, I'm near you. The child trusts the parent and gains confidence. The child is repaid for this act of trust. It becomes more independent, riding around on its bike. And that is the first, perhaps, of many acts of trust that will build him up in a normal human way. Faith is equally needed to give us confidence. Confidence in the saving power of Jesus. Without Jesus at the centre of our religious life, um, the religious life remains an external duty, a hollow habit with little motivation or power in it. Look how the Gospel speaks of accessing the saving power of Jesus through faith. Bartimaeus, the blind beggar, hears that Jesus is passing. He says, this is my chance. He shouted to Jesus for help. He wouldn't keep quiet. He wouldn't allow others to stop him coming to Jesus. He came forward, Rabuni, let me see again. Jesus like he liked his attitude very much. He said the vital words, your faith has saved you. And immediately his sight returned. The Gospel also says he followed Jesus along the road. He became a disciple. So Bartimaeus got the sight of his eyes back, but he also got uh, a new spiritual sight, he could recognise Jesus as his Lord and Saviour, and he followed him. Now, we too have to look at the readings. The readings are alive if we read them with faith. That's why we reverence the Book of Gospels. 
It's Jesus coming to us. So, the three readings together. Listen to Jesus speaking to you through them. In the first reading, uh, God says through Jeremiah, I'll gather my people, I'll comfort them and lead them back. In other words, I will bring my people home to the promised land of heaven. You are my people. The second reading likens Jesus to the high priest of the Jewish temple. So the purpose of the priest, as I said, in the Old Testament is to be a bridge builder. The Pope is also known as Pontifex or bridge builder. Between heaven and earth, of course, that bridge. Every high priest is taken out from mankind and is appointed to act for men in their relationship with God. Jesus is then the one appointed to be our bridge builder between heaven and earth. He's the best of bridge builders. He's the son of God. He has a foot in heaven. He's the son of Mary and has his foot firmly on earth with us. And finally, the gospel. Jesus shows us how we have right of access to him, whoever we are. He listens even to an unimportant blind beggar. He repays persevering faith in him. He gives salvation to such faithful people. Your faith has saved you. He calls even ordinary people to follow him and be his disciples. The readings say this to us, I do believe, that the salvation promised to Jeremiah comes through Jesus, the greatest high priest of all. God fulfills his promises. Secondly, the church belongs to all who respond to the message of Jesus with faith in Jesus. Like Bartimaeus, he's welcomed. And the heart of our response to the call is, Jesus, let me see you acting in the world with the eyes of faith, and then let me follow you as a disciple. So we pray, Lord, we are your pilgrim people coming home to our homeland in heaven. As the bridge builder between heaven and earth, come to meet us on the way and lead us home. As your faithful people, we place all our trust in you. Amen. God bless you and keep you. Thank you.